Hi everyone and welcome. Previously we have uploaded one series on the YouTube that how you can integrate Node-RAID with the A9G module. Okay, so you can make a call from Node-RAID, you can hang up the call from the Node-RAID, you can send, you know, a predefined SMS with predefined number, you can send dynamic SMS with dynamic number, you can place a call to dynamic number, also you can, you know, automate something with the help of sms okay so based on the sms value you can automate something so that thing we have done in the node red okay now in this series what we are going to do is we are going to do the same but not with the node red but with the python language okay so python is installed in my system so i am going to communicate with a9g board using python okay via serial communication so if i open command prompt here and if I type Python, you can see Python 3.12.2 is installed in my system. Okay, so we are going to use Python 3.12.2 to connect with the A9G board. You can see I have attached the A9G board with my system using this USB to serial converter. And I have powered up the A9G board using this micro USB cable. Okay, you can open this image to check the connection between uh, this USB to serial converter and the A9G board. Okay, so this RX uh, pin of this USB to serial converter will go to the first pin of this A9G board. Okay, you can see uh, just a moment. You can see this the green cable is going to the first pin of this A9G board and the orange cable is going to the second pin of the A9G board. Okay, so this is how you have to make the connection between this USB to serial converter and the A9G board. And I have power up this A9G board using this micro USB cable. So if I uh, remove this uh, USB to serial converter, then our COM port will not detect the A9G board. Okay, so you can differentiate between uh, this USB to serial converter and this micro USB cable. So you can see here uh, we have COM5. Okay, so if I remove this USB to serial converter from this uh, USB hub, then you won't see COM5 here. Okay. You can see COM5 is not available. So this USB to serial converter is able to send AT command to the A9G board. Okay, so whatever communication we are uh, going to do with the Python and the A9G board will be done via this USB to serial converter. This blue cable is only used to power up this A9G board. You can see the LED is on. Okay, so A9G board is on, but we cannot communicate between Python and A9G board using this cable. So that's why we have to use this USB to serial converter. Okay, so let me plug that again. Okay, so here we have the COM5 again. So we are going to use the serial module in the Python to communicate with A9G board. Okay, so here is our basic Python program to check the A9G board status. Okay. So this Python program will send the AT command to this A9G board and wait for the response from the A9G board. So once A9G board will respond and if response contains OK, then it will understand that my A9G board is connected to the system. So uh, before that, what we are going to cover in this series, OK, we will discuss that. So in this video, we are going to see integration between Python and the A9G module. So we will check the connection between Python and A9G module using this uh, uh, connection status code. Okay. After that, we will place a call from Python and A9G module. Okay. So we will write some AT commands. So whenever we run the Python code, it will place a call to that particular number. Okay. And then after we are using Python to send the SMS to some other number using A9G module. Okay, so you will send the AT commands to the A9G module and based on those AT commands, A9G module will send SMS to that number. Then after we will see how you can use A9G board to connect with MQTT broker. Okay, so A9G board contains AT command firmware and in the AT command firmware, we have a provision to connect with MQTT broker to publish the data and to subscribe to some topics. Okay, so instead of Wi-Fi or any other internet options, okay, we are going to use mobile internet or you can say cellular internet to send the MQTT uh, message to MQTT broker. 
okay so we will write some at commands so based on the at command this ng module will use the sim card internet and it will connect to the mqtt broker and whatever data we want to publish to mqtt broker it will publish that data to mqtt broker without wi-fi okay so this is the most important part if you are using raspberry pi then you can connect this ng module with your raspberry pi and you can make your own gateway okay so if you are reading modbus data from your raspberry pi 0 or raspberry pi uh, model 4 or something then you can connect this ng module with your raspberry pi and you can program your raspberry pi in the python language to send your modbus data to mqtt broker okay and if you are reading the data from opc then then also you can convert that opc data to mqtt um, okay and you can publish that data to mqtt broker so everything is possible with the python and the ang module so you can uh, work without wi-fi okay so you just have to plug the sim card in the ng module and ng module will uh, take care of the uh, data published to mqtt broker and subscribe uh, the data from mqtt broker okay so that thing is possible so uh, we mqtt part is covered in three topic okay so in the fourth topic we will see how you can connect ng board to mqtt broker and we are going to send just a basic uh, uh, text on one test topic okay so we will do this we will do just a testing then after we will continuously publish the random data to mqtt broker using ng board so we will use python to run the code okay so this is how we will run the code and uh, python will generate the random values and python will send that random values to the ng board and the ng board will send those random values to mqtt broker then after we will send modbus tcp device data to mqtt broker using python and the ng board so this is the main industrial use okay so if you have modbus tcp device or if you have modbus serial device in your industry and you want to convert that data to mqtt you want to publish the modbus serial or tcp device data to mqtt broker then you can use these things okay so you are going to read the data using python okay so in the python you can read modbus tcp device data as well also you can read modbus serial device data as well so we are going to read the data from modbus tcp device then after we are going to publish that data to mqtt broker without internet okay so we are just going to use the cellular internet which is inside the ng board okay so ng board doesn't have a wi-fi or bluetooth capability so we are going to use the cellular internet so so this is the cellular cellular iot okay so we are going to use the cellular internet to connect with the mqtt broker and to publish the data on the mqtt broker okay and after that uh, instead of modbus tcp device we are going to read the data from modbus serial or modbus rs485 device and then we will send the data to mqtt broker using python and the ng board so you just have to buy the raspberry pi 0w okay so you can buy this raspberry pi 0w you can connect the ng board with raspberry pi 0w and then after instead of wi-fi or instead of bluetooth or instead of ethernet you can directly read the data from your modbus tcp or serial device and you can publish the data to mqtt broker using ng board okay so that thing is possible so your raspberry pi will act as a uh, you know kind of a gateway or yeah your raspberry pi will act as a gateway so it will be act as a modbus to mqtt gateway or opc ua to mqtt gateway okay so this thing is possible and in the future we will extend something that uh, read message from ng board okay and based on the message value turn on something or turn off something and in the future we will also cover that how to subscribe to some topic using ng board and receive the data from that topic also we will cover how to uh, convert opc ua data to mqtt using uh ng board and the python okay um, so i hope this thing is clear and uh, sometime what's happened uh you are in you are behind the firewall okay you have the opc ua data available you have the modbus tcp device data available but you don't have the internet so at that time you can use this solution you just read the data from your modbus serial modbus tcp or opc ua protocol and you can directly convert the data to mqtt so you don't have to need internet or you i mean you don't have to need wi-fi at that location you just use this ng board and this ng board will take care of the internet and it will publish the data to mqtt broker without any uh, wi-fi network 
or something okay so at that time this will be the very useful case so let's see the first uh, thing that how you have to connect so i have explained that how you should connect to uh, a9g board with uh, usb to serial converter and if you are connecting 5 volt and ground to a9g boards and sometime a9g board will not uh, power up okay so that's why i have used this uh, uh, blue micro usb cable to power up the a9g board now how to check the uh, status of the NNG board okay so you have to import serial and import time okay this is the basic import after that I have created a function which will write the serial value 80 okay it will send that serial value to NNG board and NNG board will respond so based on the response we will understand that NNG board is connected or not so I can run the function and then after I can run the main code so you can see it is still running it will send the 80 command and you can see connection is not okay so let me disconnect this one okay and uh, we will connect again okay after that i'm going to run this again okay you can see connection is okay okay so you can use this code in for monitoring purpose that your connection with the NNG board is okay or not okay so this is the useful code to check the connectivity between your python and the NNG board if the connection is okay then you will receive connection is okay if the connection is not okay then you will receive connection is not okay if i disconnect the NNG board from here and if i try to run this again then you will get the error because com5 is not available you can see here no port is available okay so if you want to handle this error then you can handle it otherwise you can leave it as it is it will crash your program okay but i get, i suggest you can handle those error if serial connection is not available now we have the serial connection i can rerun this code and it will try to send the 80 command to the ng board and if it is uh, receiving the proper response then you can see connection is okay okay so this is how you can use python to send the serial command to the NNG board and NNG board will respond to that serial command and this is how you can talk with the NNG board using Python. So in the future, as I have mentioned, we are going to call from the NNG board via Python scripting. We are going to send the SMS. We are going to connect with the MQTT broker. We are going to publish the data to MQTT broker using NNG board. So everything is possible okay so stay tuned for the next video and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp or you can also send me a comment or you can also send me a mail stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you